Today is Saturday, May 21st. This is the 1968 Oldsmobile Toronado Tilt and Telescopic Steering Column for my friend Glenn in Michigan. This is a complete level 10 restoration whereby everything was completely disassembled and this is the fully assembled embodiment where I'm going to be doing a functional validation test of the electricals, the uh, tilting feature, and the telescopic neck. And this is video number two out of a three video set. The first video was a complete bench layout of all of the individual components showing the degree of attention given to the full restoration of these columns. Video number two is the fully assembled embodiment whereby we're going to be doing a functional validation test of the electricals and the other feature functions. And the third and final video will be the high sports appeal steering wheel with horn actuation and support for the hazard and tilting, uh, which is a customization that I've done for Glenn in order to facilitate a much more sportier wheel for his Tornado than what was originally delivered. More in alignment with the highly sporty wheel that Oldsmobile provided in 1966. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and test the electricals first thing, and I've gone ahead and connected power to the power feed, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to actuate the turn signal <clears throat> in the counterclockwise location, which would be specific to a left-hand turn. And I'm going to go ahead and touch the wires, and we'll be looking for the light bulb to come on that are specific to a left hand. And there's the left-hand front, left-hand rear, left-hand front, left-hand rear, and we can see how the right-hand wires do not have continuity because we're in left-hand mode. So again, left-hand front, left-hand rear. Now I'm going to go ahead and rotate the spline, and as I rotate the spline, we'll look for the turn lever to cancel out to neutral, which it did. So that's functioning. And now we'll go ahead and push the lever down, which would be specific to a right-hand turn. And I'm going to go ahead and we'll be looking for the light bulb to come on and touch the right-hand front. Right-hand rear. Right-hand front. Right-hand rear. And the left-hand wires, which we were touching earlier, do not come on because we're in right-hand mode. So again, right-hand front, right-hand rear. Okay? So we turn the spline and we cancel out to neutral again. Some of the older uh, Tornados had the cornering lamps. That was a highly desirable feature in 68. So the cornering lamps are facilitated by a separate three pin arc connector as opposed to the primary nine pin arc connector. So I've gone ahead and apply power to the feed for the cornering lamps. We'll go ahead and engage the turn that is indicative of a right hand turn. And the light bulb comes on for the right hand wire. And when we touch the left hand wire, nothing happens. So right hand cornering lamp and the left hand is not engaged. Right hand cornering lamp. Okay, now we'll turn the spline, cancel the lever out and go in the opposite direction for the left hand. And we're testing the left hand wire. And now the right should not work. And it does not. So, because we're in left-hand mode, only our left-hand cornering lamp is coming on. Okay, so we have perfect continuity. We've tested the primary turn signals front and rear. We've tested the cornering lamps uh, left and right. And, and, and I'm sorry, earlier I said uh, the turn signals right and left, front and rear were tested. So we tested right and left, front and rear on the turn signals, and we've tested the left and right cornering lamps. Okay, so now the last thing to test electronically, electrically, excuse me, is the emergency hazard lights. The emergency hazards are facilitated by this push-in button. So I'll go ahead and turn it a little bit so we can see, and we push it in. Okay, and now all five wires should work, because in hazard mode, we have all of the light bulbs coming on. One, two, three... Four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So in hazard mode, we have the front and rear, left and right turn signals all flashing, as well as the brake lights. So we have all five electrical connections in the hazard mode. Okay? And just like before, I'm going to turn the spline, and we'll be looking for the 
button to pop up as it does and that brings it back to neutral disengaging the hazard mode okay so we've done a complete test of all of the electricals and now we're going to touch test the mechanicals i just want to point out that the spline down here is beautiful and totally uh, swapped out with new bearings okay and I'm gonna go ahead and remove my lever for the turn signal since I'm gonna be using the same level lever for the uh, tilting feature which is right here Normally the tilting lever is much shorter. Okay, so we'll go ahead and look at the actuation. We have five degrees of freedom or five positions. Full down, partial down, neutral, partial up, and full up. Okay, so those are the five degrees of freedom for the tilting feature and now for the telescopic quarter of a turn and we have infinite moving quarter of a turn again locks it in place I'll go ahead and get my key and now we have fixably constrained and now we have loosened so infinite telescopic movement tighten down with a quarter of a turn. And we'll be showing the locking lever uh, once it's installed in the steering wheel on the third and final video. So this is George in Florida. This is for my friend Glenn out in Michigan. This will be shipping out as soon as I get his okay to ship reply confirmation. I have over 375,000 1959 to 1976 General Motors items overall, primarily focusing on Cadillac. And I've done probably a dozen of these Oldsmobile Toronado uh, steering columns and some of the uh, Delta 88 and uh, working on a Dynamic 88 Oldsmobile column next. So the Oldsmobile people have seemed to have found me because there's so much similarity between the Cadillac Eldorado steering columns and the Oldsmobile columns. So this is George in Florida. Today is Saturday, May 21st. Thank you very kindly.